started or what? Uh, no. I'm kind of finishing up. Oh, I'm finishing up. Slowly heading back, but at night it's kind of slow, you know. You're in the valley or what? No, nah, man. I live out by Palm, Palm oh, Springs. Compton? Palm Springs. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. That's a fucking drive right there. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be taking it nice and slow today. Have you been slow today for you? No, I got one big ride out here, and uh, now I'm just slowly working my way back. Yeah, because then you can you can call what is it called the commute back and pick up drivers on the way back or something like that, right? Destination right. mode, yeah. yeah. It, it kind of works. It takes this little sweet little time. Like bringing us out here has no problem, but taking us back it takes a sweet little time. No, it works out. That's just the way this job is. They, they rip a lot of these drivers off, huh? They, they rip both drivers and passengers yeah, off. Yeah, I heard. Because I bought some stock from, um, I don't know if you know about stocks, but like the stock from Uber is the worst one to buy. So oh, I, dude, get rid of it. <laughs> the company's not going to last. I dumped it. I bought some stock and then I dumped it. I buy stocks here and there. Yeah. I invest, you know? Uber and Lyft, like, as a driver, I can tell you it's not a profitable company. They haven't made money once in 10, 12 years they've been around. Is that right? They never made a penny. They always show losses, meaning they're never going to make any money. It's just like a... It's weird. It's like a... Yeah, because when I bought it, it was like 32 some dollars and then it just dropped to like 26 and then I dumped it. I was like, nah, I'm dumping all that stock. Do you do the S&P 500? No, I don't do that one. Are you, you know a little bit about it? Well, I hear people, I don't really invest in stocks, but mm -hmm. people tell me like S&P 500 is like the top 500 companies and it's safe because it always, you know, at the end of the the year or five years, it's always goes up. So, but some people are aggressive where they'll take a chance with Uber. Like Uber is a good risk because it'll go, it'll be volatile, it'll be up and down. And if you can guess it right, you can make good money. Yeah, yeah, but you that's like day trading that you're talking about. That's yeah. Like it's, that's very hard because it is guessing, you know, it's like the lot of... It's gambling, dude. Yeah, it's gambling, bro. Yeah, I don't do that one. I do, uh, what is it called? Robinhood. You heard of Robinhood? No, tell me. What is that? Yeah, so that's just like a different type of investment. So you buy stock and it goes either up or down. It depends who's buying stock there. You know, like Uber is not that good. Like right now it's at 32. When I bought it, now it's hot. It's up. It's up like 2% right now. But uh, when I bought it, it was like 26. I think I bought it at 26, 25 or 20, 30 something. I forgot, man. But it was a while back. What and about then, Tesla? You invest in Tesla? Oh, yeah. I bought some stock at Tesla. That shit is yeah, fucking yeah, fire, man. Yeah. But they split the stock now, though. That's good. Yeah. It'll keep splitting like Apple. Yeah, it'll keep splitting. Like right now, I think it's at. I saw it earlier because I made some money to the well yesterday I made some money but right now that that stock is like at two something the last time I checked it was like two something I think. And it looks like you are in the stocks now yeah. for sure. You do the uh you Bitcoin? Bitcoin? No, that stuff you can't make it's really hard to make money. You see right now it's at three. You see three oh five. Yeah. It's fucking really nice to buy right now, but you have to invest like a lot. I bought like five shares when I bought it. It was like nine hundred some dollars when I bought it, and I made a little bit of money. I made like what? Like I think like like twelve hundred, twelve hundred dollars. You won't make that much. It depends how much you buy though, too. Because the more you buy, the more you have chances of making more money. We're yeah, thinking long term, right? No, I don't do long term. Oh, so like I wait for it to build a little bit. Like a couple of weeks, sometimes you know, like right now I'm making money off this stock. It's a stock. I'm not telling you to invest in it. Don't get me wrong, but um, because I never give nobody advice, because and then then they blame you. you know? <laughs> but it doesn't work. It happened eat. to me. <laughs> you uh, told me, yeah. What is it called? I bought this stock that's making me money. It's called uh, LCID Group. Mm -hmm. They're involved in like uh electric cars like electric battery cars stuff like that they're making money right now and the stock is the forecast to go into nine nineteen right now i bought it when it was at like a 14 some dollars so i'm 
making money right now it's like here and there you know oh you do a lot of trades yeah. well, how do you deal with your taxes and capital gain and if you're buying and selling all the time i barely started doing though uh, i barely started doing it like like two or three months ago like something like that three months ago but um you know like every time you buy and sell they take like 40 percent <laughs> yeah they take a lot of money back but It's up like eight uh, percent, and then you have to look at your return, what you're getting back, you know, because you don't want to invest something that's negative. Like I done it before, and uh, you lose a lot of money. Mm. I'm thinking this is a side hustle for you. Yeah, that's just something on the side. Yeah. What do you do for like day trade or like your normal job? Oh, I work at a at a restaurant. Yeah. So hustle. Yeah, this is just something I'm barely getting into it. Yeah. What do you want to do outside of? stocks and uh, restaurant you like restaurant industry yeah or? i want to open up my own restaurant yeah there's money in that industry because oh, everybody got to eat you know oh yeah 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 you just need to know about the portion the portion control that's the biggest one your food costs you know the mm. food cost is like where you make your profit and what you lose what kind of food do you like to cook me well right now i'm working at that wiener snitchel you picked me up from right there okay yeah so uh, like i got hired there and i'm learning little bit by little bit because i come from a retail environment you know, mm. like, i worked at like cvs right i worked for like walgreens i was a manager in all those companies okay but not recently i made the switch into this industry because i want to open up my own business in it mm. so i'm learning everything like the food cost the waste is called waste like what you lose you know like your profit that's all profit though too profit loss mm. so i'm learning that right now so once I get the hang of it, I want to open up like in a like a Latino restaurant, like mm. a Mexican restaurant, but Americanized. Mm. You know, white people do like fucking Mexican food, <laughs> and that's the second biggest thing that they buy. It's either Chinese or, or Mexican food. Look, pollo listo. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants to eat it, that Yoshino. I bet you. Well, Yoshi I you, Hispanic food, Mexican food is way more popular in California. Yeah. Oh, you're not from California? I am from California. Oh yeah. Mexican food and Chinese food are like the biggest ones. Not Chinese, because like maybe Japanese. Chinese food, I never find good Chinese food. Yeah, it's really hard to find a good Chinese restaurant. Like the Thai only food one, I could find. The only, I would say that the only good, like working in, after working in this industry, I say that the best Chinese food is Panda. Because yeah. you know? <laughs> everything is like not that, like, I don't know how to say it because it's very, the restaurant is very clean. Uh, the food, the food that they're, they're using, Portions are good, not that bad. Oh, okay, it's a safer Chinese food. Yeah, safer Chinese food. Because when you go to a regular Chinese restaurant, you don't know if they're using that SMSG. Mm. And that stuff is really bad for you. Because if you, you know how you know that it has it? Either you get full fast. I get sleepy. Or you get, or you get hungry. Like you get. Oh, you get hungry after. Yeah, after. That's I get that sleepy SMSG. after eating that stuff. Yeah, I get like if I eat Chinese food or like something. I think that's a side effect yeah. though. They're still using that shit. Oh, they all use yeah. it, dude. That's why it tastes so good. <laughs> yeah, it tastes really good. Yeah, they're using that shit, but it's a certain amount, you know, that are. Because you're only supposed to use a certain amount. You have to know how to do that shit because that's micro milligrams and all, all that other shit. And you have to know the, you know how to use it because you can use it and overuse it. Mm. And get somebody like food poisoning. Mm. That's how those people get food poisoning because they're overusing it. Well, this is the only thing you do? Kind of. Um, my background is in photography. Oh, um, the, the Uber kind of pays the bills, you know? Oh, the Uber? Yeah. What, well, COVID? Nobody wants to take pictures and stuff like that, right? <laughs> The, yeah, pictures, well, it's different. Like, everyone can take pictures now with any camera, so yeah. everyone's a photographer. Supposedly, yeah. yeah. They're good, man. Cameras are good. Any Anyone can take a picture nowadays and make it look good. Yeah, but the food industry is, like, big. That and... Because I wanted to open up a club, but that stuff is too dangerous, though, because then somebody, you can open up a club and... You can have somebody overdose, right? And then they shut you down until they investigate and do all that stuff. You know. Well, you need, yeah, you need you need connections and insurances. Like you yeah. open a club, you got to know the cops and you got to know the other people. Yeah, and then how about if you're gonna sell liquor? Like you know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of liability in that industry. So 
I wouldn't really want to invest in that because I think the safest bet is uh, what is it called food, 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 food. What do you think about doing something on the internet, online, like you make money while you're sleeping? Oh, you do that stuff? No, no, I'm asking you. I think that's really hard though, because it. I mean, like you can open up. I think the only thing you can do is like online. Is the best thing to do is open up like a merchandise. Mm -hmm. Maybe like since online is like I, my background is like you know like retail. Mm. I'll say like maybe sell like something like sweaters and stuff like that. But then you're buying stuff in bulk, you know. You have to have like a storage, and, and storages are expensive. And if you work from home, it's like more trouble because then that stuff will pile up. Dude. You can buy like bulk stuff of merchandise, and the only places where you can get good deals is like like probably like China, uh, India, Pakistan too. You know, like those type of countries. Because if you try to buy here, yo. You lose so much profit, you won't make nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. That's why all these other industries, I mean, those businesses like Marshalls, uh, Bath and Body, they shut down, dude, because they try to, you know, they overdid, they over, they bought too much. Because I bought that stock too when it was, when it was like fairly starting to to finish. Basically, I bought it when everybody made a bunch of money off of it already. Mm -hmm. I should have bought it. I didn't know about that stock in the first place. Like that, I bought another stock recently because I met somebody at the restaurant who told me about this stock, and then I bought it and I'm making money off of that. But it's really hard. Stocks are very difficult to like, like forecast if you're gonna make any money off of it because you could buy something and like I dumped yesterday some Chinese stock that I wasn't making nothing off of it, you know. And in Chinese stocks, sometimes they 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 lie a lot on their books, and they recently got audited by the the Treasury Department here in the states. I don't know if you know about that. No, I don't. So really basically, call that. you to have a stock or have be public, you have to have open books. Mm. So you have to tell everybody like what your profit and your, mm. and your losses are. You know, that's the only way you can actually like go public. So the Chinese government, they're communists over there. They have they're like an iron curtain, you know, like they're not going to tell everybody what they're doing, and they're, you know, mm. so then th there's a lot of mistrust with the Chinese. Like I bought a couple stocks from them. I thought I can make some money off of it. It's really hard. Like you brought up Bitcoin, right? Dude, like I bought like $10,000 of Bitcoin, not Bitcoin. I bought these other stocks. Uh, it's like other uh, current because there's all types of digital currencies now these days and then I you know how much I made out of all that mm -hmm. 60 cents dude, 30 like I was losing money so I dumped it I had to sell all that stuff before it before it plummeted and then when I bought and when I sold it it went down and I was like good god I would have lost a lot of money mm -hmm. yeah but it's really hard to find like a real nice uh, what is it called stock buy and like keep it long term like i recently got flagged from that from that site saying that i couldn't do this i couldn't do that because you know i was buying the same stocks and selling them and then buying them again and mm. making money like that and then they flagged me and they told me if i do that my my account would be frozen until next december 23 uh, 23 they're fucked up dude for so one year some, so some of them they want you to keep Mm. Yeah, so it's really stocks are really difficult. You and plus stocks, you have to have like a lot of money to make more money. The more you invest, the more you can make. Mm. Yeah, but you can lose more too. Yeah, you lose a lot of money. So I lost a lot of money. I don't even want to talk about how much I lost. Why do you still do it? Huh? Why do you still do? Because I think one day I might hit one, dude. You know, mm. it's like the lotto. You don't know. I think it's safer to place a stock, but it, uh, it depends how much you're investing in. Because if you that's a lot you can make a big mistake and you have like you have to keep looking at it like like I told you I dumped that Chinese stock I invested like 300 some dollars you know thinking I can make some money off these cheap little stocks no I wasn't making nothing off of it so I dumped it and when, when I dumped it guess how much it went down to 12 cents dude mm. yeah I would have lost a lot of money you know so <laughs> I was thinking good god what was the name of the company? Oh, uh, that's B uh, BTB. That's a company. What do they do? They do uh, food uh, and like teas, is uh, like pastries, stuff like that. Like food, they're in the food industry. So I thought that I can make it because I was buying it cheap. Nah, man, I wasn't making nothing. Mm -hmm. But I heard that the best stocks are in, in Japan. 
there. Because when you buy stocks, you have to like you have to look into like what return are you getting, what percentage. That's what I learned recently, you know, like because then you can buy a stock that you're not making nothing off of. Your return is like very low, like less than one percent, and you're just losing money there, right? Mm. Yeah, you don't want that. It's like these guys, like these guys who sell cars, mm -hmm. dude. A lot of these are fronts, you know that, right? They're like either cartels selling these fucking cars. Or people laundering money. How do you know? Oh, dude. Yeah. You can tell right away that these guys... This, like, this shop has been here for so many years. Or oh, it doesn't sell anything. Yeah. I mean, cars are just there. fucking flooding that shit and just inflating their books and fucking mm. calling washing money. Damn, you're smart, bro. How do you... Yeah, that's, that, that's actually... Yeah, that's what I would do. Like, if I was selling drugs, I would fucking open a car dealership right away. Real mm. quick. In jail they up. are. In jail they are. Yeah, and they're all locked up. You know? I think the most best thing to do is do. I'll white tell you. Uh, drugs, no, you I'll know? tell you the best successful drug dealers I've seen are doctors. Oh yeah, those guys prescribe you all the, everything. Your heart hurts. They have a medic. They have a pill right for you. Your head hurts. They want to put everybody on medication. You know that. Everybody's on medication. Like my mother. You know. She takes so much medication and then. And then I asked this doctor who tried to prescribe me some medication and I told him, do I really need it? He told me, no, but if you want to live so many years, you do need it. And I was like, what the fuck? So I don't need it. That's what he's saying, you know? Oh, dude. But he's just trying to get more more sales, dude. Those guys are all in the drug industry, dude. They're doing the, the most legitimate drugs. So who, who, who's worse drug dealer? Doctors or, or, or gangsters? Come on now. The guy at the rock. Songs. Yeah. yeah. The doctors are selling all the drugs. Correct. They're making all the money too. Correct. And the pharmaceutical industry. Oh, that pharmaceutical industry is like big. They're the ones who control everything. Cause, cause when I worked at Walgreens and Rite Aid, I worked for all those companies. I jump here to there. They like the the biggest question I got when when I went to one or the other, is like why did you leave Walgreens? No, why did you? Well, I started at Rite Aid. Why did you leave Rite Aid? I wanted to come here to CVS and see mm. how everything was and I you know what the whole thing is it's all the same bro it's all the same mm. they're over pricing their medication generic selling pills for like hundreds of thousands of dollars and then the bad thing about that industry is like you get to see all the sick people like mm. I saw hot beautiful women and guess what mm. some of them had AIDS bro oh. yeah and those AIDS medications they're fucking expensive as a motherfucker they're the most that and cancer. Cancer and AIDS are the biggest, like, biggest, biggest money makers. And some of it is funded by the by the government. You know that, right? They help these people get these medications for almost free. Well, they have to get them hooked somehow. Yeah, because and then they, yeah, they gotta help them because they can keep spreading this shit. You know. First of all, people need to understand: no government has ever been for the people. No, no, they're all against the people. Yeah, it's called population control. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Population control is the biggest factor, dude. You know how many billions of people are over there in China? Because they have no, they're not doing this stuff, dude. They're not doing a lot of. Hey, what do you got against Chinese people, man? Huh? <laughs> what do you oh, got against Chinese? Do I look Chinese? No, no, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I'm Pakistani, dude. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you know, like, because uh, oh, you're oh, you're yeah, but you're Asian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. You guys are borders. <laughs> yeah, we're neighbors, uh, man. Yeah, you guys are neighbors. <laughs> guys fought a, a, not a civil war but you guys have some military conflicts over provinces over there because they, no. they share borders first of all we're stupid we fight our own people yeah the Pakistanis but they're fucking crazy those Pakistanis though man they're they stupid have, they have guts though they're stupid they yeah. fight their own people what, what the hell is wrong with you yeah hey brother Miguel it was a pleasure my friend yeah good luck man with everything sir and good luck with your restaurant I hope you you work one it day out. I'll have one yeah Oh, nice cat right there. Oh, these guys are all over this area, bro. Have a good one. All right, take care. Bye-bye.